Alright, the air conditioning on this 2019 Ram. We're at 36 degrees Fahrenheit out the dash right now. So let's take a snapshot. We're going to take a snapshot. This is going into the customer's invoice, live data logging. So this is the second Rad4 in the same business, in the same building at the same time. Now, if you remember, the other Rad4 was 39 degrees. Oh, this, hit, this is getting into 35 degree territory. Uh, if we remember the other vehicle, it was 39 degrees was the tents. This is a 2019. So here we go. 2019 Toyota RAV4 YF refrigerant, 550 grams. The exact same refrigerant, the exact same weight of refrigerant. Two different vehicles. One was, two, this is 2019, and the other one that I just did right next to this one was 2021 or 2022. Where are we at right now? Come on. This is so slow. Yeah, we're going around the 35, 35 zone. Let's look at the subcooling and uh, superheat on this one. So, look at the superheat on this one. 2.3. Definitely, if this was a cap tube, a piston, orifice tube, that would definitely on most, and especially residential split systems on a cap tube system, piston system, two degrees of superheat, someone say, oh, you're overcharged. You, you got a restricted air filter, whatever. Subcooling, 10 degrees subcooling. So that is on this vehicle. So we just did two vehicles in the same building at the same time, slightly different results. The other one was 39 degrees. This one goes down at 35 degrees. Remember, everything is not exactly the same. You can have drift of the sensor that is picking up the sensor on the evaporator that tells the ECU or the PCM or the HVAC control module to shut off the AC or tailor it down. If you're variable displacement, what to put the displacement at to control the temperatures and pressures. Sensors can be out of calibration or they have tolerances, plus or minus tolerances. So just the sensors being out of a tolerance or being one to one far end, one to the other far end of being good, but they're at two different sizes of the tolerances can make differences like this. You could have two identical vehicles sitting right, they just came off of the assembly line. They're both exactly the same, but because the sensors have a little bit of wiggle room in their tolerances that also can do this. So we're again, we're using the Bluetooth on the uh, live data streaming. Don't, don't always forget, don't forget to use your Nylog on your O-ring seal so you don't get vacuum leaks and extend the life of the seals that are inside on your quick couplings. If you uh, don't have and you can't afford a good leak detector like the Stratus or an H10, you can do the old school. It's not as good and it can be a little tough, but um, this is always a good backup for your big bl uh, blue micro leak detector. All this stuff is also always available at True Tech Tools. For a UV light, I always recommend the 365 or the 400 nanometer. This is the 365. And the silver one I have, you see me use is the 400 nanometer because different UV dyes glow at a different, you can see the mess I made there. You see all over, I splattered. Oops. Okay, so somebody slaughtered an alien. All right guys, I'll catch you later. And this is the second Rad4. And as you see, it's just, I just turned it on. It's just starting to make condensation and water on the window right now. They always got to be cold when you finish with them. All right. And there's no doubt in my mind at 35 degrees, deliver this to the customer. It'll definitely be cold. And um, anything else? Oh, yeah, the other one. So the other Rad4 I just did, back to back with this one, the high side finishing pressure was 88 PSI. If you see the high side pressure taking off the pressure transducer right here, on this one is 91 PSI. That's normal for these vehicles. See you later. Normal is normal. Normal is what, what it was 30 years ago. So if you're getting information from some old fogey, 
who used to do the hand can jerk off thing with his gauges and used to 150 PSI or 200 PSI on all vehicles and that's what he shoots for to fill up the system. Go somewhere else for information. See you guys later.